Tony Doherty here for NPC News Online with the newly crowned physique champion of Pittsburgh again. Now, Natalia Kohilo has just taken the title, which she won last year. But in the meantime, she won the Miss Olympia. But a promise is a promise. And she said, I'm going to come back and do Pittsburgh when you won last year. Win the Olympia, but you stuck to your word. And here you are. How is it? Of course I am, yes. I told JM, I told you, I told everybody that I would come back to defend my title. It doesn't matter if I'm Miss Olympia, if I am whoever I am, this show is very prestigious, it's very important to me. It means a lot. So I would be here no matter what to represent, to support, to show some love back. And now with another title, which I'm very happy and blessed to have. And you've got another Pittsburgh medal. Look at that around your neck. Now, the big question, is you going to do any more shows between now and the Olympia? Who knows? You know, I love competing. I love doing what I'm doing. Of course, my main focus is the Olympia because we need to have some time, you know, a little break between the shows and the Olympia. But I do plan on doing one more show, which is going to be the New York Pro in six days. Because Big Steve, I told you as well, I will come back next year, which is this year, to defend my title. And that's what I plan, I plan to do. Last year, I did the Pittsburgh and the New York, and then won the Olympia, so it worked well. Hopefully this year, we're going to follow. This is a winning formula, you know, and if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're going to win Pittsburgh, we're going to win New York, Amen. and then... I think I'm going to get to interview you again in New York and at the Olympia. We've done a lot of interviews um, over the years. And I've seen where you've come from. Like you started, you know, small in the sport. You come from Brazil. You know, you worked on your English. You worked on your, your physique, obviously, and you grew and grew and you never quit. You're never out of shape. And I think Natalia epitomizes someone who lives a lifestyle. I mean, you're never out of shape. I say to some promoters around the world, you can call her any time for guest posing because she's, she needs one week to look close to this. And it's a credit to you, but also your humility, the way you travel with your mum. You never forgot where you come from and who you are. And I think that's why you've got so many fans. Now, I haven't interviewed you since the Olympia. How has it been to hold that title and to be the representative of women's physique, the face of women's physique for the whole world? Because nobody's going to take it more serious than you have. How's this last six months been? It's been honestly more than a dream. Tony, you have no idea how much I dream about this day, how much I work for this day, how much I pray for this day. And having this title means so, so much more than just saying that I miss Olympia. This represents something that is in my heart something that I believe, that I study the sport, that I love the sport, that my life is the sport. So being able to hold this title just opens more po more doors for me to represent, to be a good ambassador and to help this sport to grow. Because I don't do that just for me, I do that for us. We are family, we are here to grow this sport of bodybuilding. And that's what I wanted to do with this title, to use this to help our community. Yeah. Well, I don't think we could have a better representative than you as, as the face and the figure of women's physique. You are just an amazing champion, a beautiful human. I'm going to see you next week in New York and again at the Olympia. And until then, we're here with our champion and we're out.